But before that, Mahama Ayariga has retained the Boku Central seat for the NDC again. Listen. Now I want to thank the good people of Boku, all those who voted, both those who voted for NDC and those who voted for NPP, and all the candidates for voting peacefully and allowing the process to take place peacefully till this very successful end. I think that it is all of us, the people of Boku, who have won today. And we should all be proud of ourselves that we have been able to achieve this peaceful and successful elections. And I want to assure you that together with all of you, we will continue to work together to preserve the peace of Boku. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. We can, we can develop as one people. So, me post here next. You're live on Joy New on the Joy News channel. This is your election headquarters, and we are live, of course, on Joy News on Joy 99.7 FM and on Joy Prime TV. Very soon, we'll cross over to Studio 997. But this is the lay of the land as we have it so far. As you can see, our smart wall is filling up with a number of seats in there. Um, I'll quickly take you to the Western North region. And um, if you look here, Bibiani Amhiasu Bekwai um, has remained NPP. If, if you know what happens in the, in the northern part of the Western region, you realize that um, this is not too much of a surprise. The NPP has enjoyed um, support in that part of the region. Sehwi Akontombra, is, however, very interesting for President Ekufuado, 50.9% to John Dramani Mahamas, 45.6%. If you look at the trend analysis, the data there, this is not a seat that the NDC has, the MPP has ever won as far as presidential tally is concerned. In fact, if you look at the Sehwi Akontombra seat in 2016, where the MPP won the um, parliamentary, um, a lot of people argue that there was actually um, a break in the ranks of the NDC, and that is how come the MPP was able to slip through. And so you, you can see that John Mahama won convincingly in f by 54.4% in 2016, but now he has dropped to 45.6%, and um, President Ekufado appreciating to 16,921 votes with 50.9%. If there's anything we have learned about this election, it is that there is no formula really. It's very difficult to look at how the trends are showing. It's very difficult to look at how the formulas are showing because I can show you, say we are Contumbra, then I can take you to Upper Dintra West in the central region where the NPP has held for years and the NDC is currently in the lead. Of course, the MPP is challenging that coalition process. The Jabosu constituency, the constituency of Kamala Betan Kando, the ranking member on the Health Committee of Parliament, um, has retained the NDC. Um, it has here John Mahama winning their 56%. John Mahama, 56%. President Ekufado, 39%. 0.5%. Remember earlier, we went to the Sehiri also constituency right here, where this is empty, and I'll tell you why it's empty. It's empty because this result is being challenged by the NDC. And because it's being challenged, um, the EC is unable to declare it. And we were told by Nana Tajiman, our correspondent there, that the NPP was in the lead as at the time um, that we were getting those results. So if you just joined us, here's the lay of the land. We've gotten a number of results populating our magic wall currently. Um, as you can see there, some of the regions showing the character that they normally show. The OT region is a region that the NPP would have hoped to capitalize on the promise of creating a new region. Um, unfortunately, they have not been able to take advantage of that. I'll take you to... Um, the, is it the Krachi West or the Krachi East constituency where Michael Jato is member of parliament? Pardon me. It's actually Krachi East constituency where Michael Jato was member of parliament. As you can see there in the parliamentary poll, he won in 2016, but President Mahama won. I'll take you quickly to 
what is happening there in the parliamentary poll this year. Uh, pardon me, 2020 is what I want. So we can see what happened. Michael Yaujato has fallen 49.3% uh, there in the poll, 50.7% to Wisdom Gidisu, um, and 83% uh, voter turnout, 40,201 valid votes cast. So that is another seat that, uh, if, you, if you're going to use the expression for the day, the NDC has flipped. And we will look at the overall picture a bit more as we go forward and get an idea of whether or not the flip means the NDC really um, gets into Jubilee House and gets the majority in Parliament, or as the NPP will have them say, it's rather a flop in disguise. My name is Daniel um, Dazib. We uh, will move to Studio 997 immediately, where Bernice Abubedu Lanza is standing by with our expert panelists, ready to serve you with all the analysis that you need.